Hello everyone. Today let us learn how to assemble Crane Oak in SolidWorks. Click on New, select Assembly, click OK. So once you click OK, directly you will be asked to insert the first component. So I will be selecting the Crane Oak. So I have saved all the files in the Crane Oak folder. Select that part which you want to insert first. Click on Open. So now I have selected Crane Oak as my first component. As soon as you click on the screen, the component will get fixed. You can see here small f. So here if you observe carefully, the origin of the component is here. Similarly, if I select the origin of the assembly, it's somewhere else. So we need to meet or we need to merge this origin. How do I do that? Is right click on this assembly, go to float, go to float. Now the object is free to move. Select the origin, hold control key, select the origin, go to assembly, click on mate. Now, what will happen is the origin of part, origin of the assembly, both will merge. Say OK. So, in order to cross check, you can always cross check by selecting the design tree. This is called the design tree. Front plane of the assembly environment, front plane of the part environment. Both will be in the same. Similarly, top, top. So, all this will be in the same plane. You can observe top, top. Similarly, right plane, right plane. So everything will be coinciding. Now after this, immediately you need to fix this. Otherwise, this object will move whenever we insert the next component. So right click on the component, fix. Now it is not free to move. Next is we need to insert the second component. The second component is hook anchor. Select hook anchor, open it. Now go to mate. Select this cylindrical surfaces, apply mate. Similarly, you can drag it up. Apply this mate. Click OK. Suppose if you leave it at this orientation, what will happen is when you go for drafting, it will be difficult for you to project. For example, you can see I can rotate this. Now when I go to the top view, you can observe the drafting becomes very difficult and very difficult to show you the front view also. So the dimensions will not be accurate. So what we'll do is we'll try to align this with respect to the reference plane. So for that, I'll go to mate. I'll select this surface. And I'll select the right plane. Now both will become parallel. Perpendicular as applied. Click OK. So once you click OK, now you can see the orientation. Control 1 will give you the front view. Control 5 top view. Control 7 is isometric. So you can see here, earlier minus symbol was showing next to it. That means it is free to move. Now all degrees of freedom are constrained by applying the mates. So you cannot see that minus symbol now. Next thing is we have to insert bush. So the next component is the bush. Select the bush, click on open, place it, right? Next, same thing, that is go to mate, select this, select this, click OK. Now you cannot see the bottom face. For that, right click on the hook anchor, say hide, say hide, and you can slowly drag it up. Select this face, select this face, click OK. So once you are done with this, you can always remove that hide by right click on the hook anchor and you can show it. Click OK. So by doing this, we have constrained the bush. You can see the small minus symbol here. It indicates that the bush can rotate. We have not given the constraint of for rotation. Let it rotate. It will not have any impact on the drafting. Next component which will be inserting is the support plate. Insert component. Support plate. Click on open. Support plate. Insert it on the environment. So now you can see the support plate. Go to mate. Select the cylindrical surface, select the cylindrical surface, click OK. Now similarly, you can select this face, this face, OK. Now I should constrain this, otherwise what will happen is it will rotate. In order to do the constraint, you can always select this surface, select the top surface of the hook anchor, both will be made parallel, click OK. So like this, we have given constraint for the plate, support plate. Right, you can see there is no minus symbol, so that means you cannot rotate. It cannot rotate. Now the next component is the plate spacer. Go to insert component, plate spacers, open, click on the sheet. Now I'll go to mate, select this, select this, click OK. Now you can drag it up, select this, select this, click OK. So by doing this, I have inserted the plate spacer in one location. Now I will import the washer as well as the lock nut. Insert component, 
washer open same thing that is go to mate select this select this click ok select this space select this space click ok now again we have to apply uh, the next component is we have to go to insert component here uh, we have to insert the component m14 lock nut m14 open place it here go to mate select this select this click ok drag it up a little bit select this space select this space click ok now once again for drafting we need to constrain this space with the top line make it parallel click ok now we have fixed the washer as well as the lock nut so i will not use mirror option for this lock nut as well as washer why because i'll be using copy with mates option that is the reason so i will go to mirror and i will mirror only the support plate right the mirroring plane is the right plane support a components to mirror is this then click ok once you click ok support plate will be inserted now i will try to add lock nut as well as washer to the other side so you should be very careful in order to do that don't mirror it if you mirror then you cannot use copy with mates option right so copy with mates option will not work if you try to mirror it observe carefully here i will create a copy of this lock nut as well as washer by holding control key and dragging it hold control key drag it and leave the mouse then once again <coughs> hold control key drag the washer leave the washer then leave the control key so that is how we need to we have to create a copy of it now i'll try to assemble these two on the other end so in order to do that go to mate select this select this click ok select the surface select the surface click ok same thing has to be done for the lock nut select this select this click ok select this space select this space click ok then select this select the horizontal uh, face with the top plane make it parallel click ok now let us check all the views so i'll go to control one this is the front view so both are symmetrical control five top view control seven control three the side views oh, perfect so now let us try to use copy with mates option now let us apply copy with mates so go to insert component there's a small drop down menu use that select copy with mates selected component select the plate spacer select the washer as well as the lock nut right so lock nut plate spacer don't select the support plate only these five components has to be selected so be careful here select the component next after knowing that all those five components have been selected click on next button once you select next button here comes the constraints part don't select the concentric because the concentric has been applied with respect to this hole we have to apply concentric with respect to this hole as well as this hole and so don't select this so select coincident parallel coincident parallel select this mates now you select this hole well, as soon as you select this hole this concentric which was left will be applied for this hole then click ok to apply to the next hole select this concentric so click ok then come out of copy with mates so this is how copy with mates works so control one control five control three control four right so copy with mates we have applied the next thing is we'll try to apply the end bush go to insert component select end bush open select this go to mate select this cylindrical select this cylindrical click ok select this select this space click ok so before you apply you could have selected the concentric of this so select this select this click ok so now the end bush is completely constrained control one control four right so we'll try to apply the bolt for this so how do i apply the bolt 
is by going to design library. Go to design library, toolbox, add now ISO bolts and screws, external bolts and screws, select 4017, drag it, leave it. Okay, close this mates, drag it and leave it. So it will ask M6, M1, M2. So select M6, click OK, press Escape. Now we'll insert this here. So go to Mate, select this hole, select this hole. Say Mate alignment, change it. Click OK. Still the bolt will be somewhere inside, so you can drag it, no problem. Select this face, select this face, click OK. Now make this one of the flat surface of the hexagonal head to the top plane as parallel, click OK. So that in drafting, it will look good. Next, we'll try to apply circular sketch component pattern, direction, select this as a direction, number of components is three, equispacing should be on, components to pattern, this. So you can see the preview, click OK. Now let me go to mirror component. So how do I do the mirror? So go to mirror component, Mirroring plane is the right plane. Mirror components, this, this, this. You can do everything at a time or else you can complete whenever you wish. You can always go back to that mirror components and you can check. You can edit it. I have not added this. So let me add that, click OK. Now you can see the end bush also. Right, so editing can be done with the help of this design tree. So you can go to the design tree and you can always edit it. So I have done, I'm done with the end bush as well as the hexagonal bolt screw. Now let me add the lock nut. We go to insert component, select M12, open, place it. Next, go to mate, mate selection, select this mate, select this mate, click OK, drag it, select this space. Select this space, click OK. Now select this, select the top plane, make it parallel, click OK. Once again, you can go to mirror component and you can apply, or else you can apply it again. No mirror component, mirroring plane is the right plane, with components to mirror is this, click OK. So you can see the other side. So the only component which is left out is the bolt. That is M16. So go to insert component, M16, open, place it. So go to mate, select the cylindrical surface, select this cylindrical surface, click OK. Now, little bit you need to drag it up. So carefully, you need to select this hole and this hole. Click OK. So this will mate the component, control 7. Control 1, Control 2, Control 3, Control 4, Control 5, Control 7. Click OK. So this is the assembly of Cranook. Let us go to the drafting part. Let me save this file. Control S, Cranook, Cranook. Go to File, Make Drawing from Assembly. Select A4, switch off this display sheet format. 297, 210. Right click on sheet 1, go to properties, first angle projection, very important. Now you go to view palette, select the top view, select the top view, drag it here. You can see the scale, scale, it looks too small, so let me increase the scale to 1 is to 2, so the size will increase, so that it will fit according to the space available in the drawing sheet. Now let me go to the drawing part section. Suppose if in the question if they ask for right half in section, you can select this, or if they ask for left half in section, you can select this. So you can say right side up, left side up. So I have selected right half in section. So let me select the midpoint or the center point exactly at this location. Switch on this auto hatching, click OK. Now you can see the hatching part of the crane, right? So the crane hook hatching part is done. You can drag it. Now you can go to 
projected view. Go to projected view, select this to project the side view as well as the isometric view. So once you project these two from the front view, drag it, place it. So let me switch on the shaded view. So shaded with edges. You can always improvise the performance in document properties, the graphics option, depending on the processor. It will show you the edges. The image quality will be good. Next comes the ballooning part. So select this, go to annotation. This is isometric view, which I have selected. Go to annotation. Here you should select auto balloon. So here we have an option called auto balloon. Click on this auto balloon. You can see now. So the labeling has been done. So you can see the change in the quality. I will go to options, document properties, image quality. I'll just increase the image quality a little bit so that it will get reflected here. You can see the image quality has been improved. Next comes the bill of materials. So select this isometric, go to tables, bill of materials. Click OK. So bill of materials will be done. So delete the column, not the table. So drag it, place it. Right. So dimensioning can be done for few. Go to dimension and do the dimensioning. That is from here till here. It's 130. So you know how to remove double zero. Go to options. Document properties, dimensions, trailing zeros, remove. So like this, do the dimensioning, major dimensioning of a part and you can save the file, control S. Framework. So this completes the drafting part as well as the assembly. If you have any questions or any doubts, you can post it in the comment section and definitely I'll reply. And thank you for watching the video.